He drives across this country from sea to shining sea, remembering the sacrifice, how freedom don't come free. With the windshield full of what he loves, takes pride in what he didn't do. This soldier grabs another gear, and he rolls on. Beautiful people, it's Legend Trucking here. I know it's a couple days late, but uh, I wanted to get it to you guys. Settlement time. I'd like to tell you all how trucks are doing out here. Um, like I said, I'm always going to tell you guys the good, the bad, and the truth. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. So that way, if you guys decide you're ever going to come over to buy a truck from Baylor Trucking, y'all got some of the real facts on what's going on or if you're a current company driver let y'all know how my truck's doing uh this week was a pretty good week well the week i just got paid for it was a pretty good week oh uh, we had 1503 on the loaded oh low battery all right i didn't interrupt me <laughs> so i got low battery so i gotta make it quick for you guys uh we did 1503 on the loaded or total miles, sorry, total miles was 1503. We did 1256 loaded and 247 empty. Pretty low mileage week, but I can take that. So for every mile my truck turned last week, the truck made 221. Really good week for that. Um, we had a couple random deductions. You can buy clothing here from Baylor, from the company store, and have it set up, taken up by your settlement if you don't cash on hand. So uh, I had $30 come out for that. I had a toll charge for $6.80. Um, my escrow this week was $167.75. And uh, I spent $398.73 in fuel. My fuel surcharge kicked back in, covered $244.84. So therefore out of my pocket, I paid $153.89 like to keep those numbers low. So we got it back pretty up in there, the looks pretty truck. good. And That's more money you can bring home. Truck wash. So, fuel shop, watch your prices, watch how many guys you buy, learn your truck. That's the biggest thing, learn your truck with all weights. It's gonna take some time to learn, jot those numbers down, keep track of it all, and eventually you're gonna dial your truck in to know roughly what it's getting, how it runs in certain areas, what kind of mileage you can get with certain weights, all that plays a huge, huge factor, especially your idle time. Keep your idle time down if you can. Uh, I know some days it's bloody cold or bloody hot and you gotta idle the truck, but if you keep your fuel costs down, you can set back money to afford to do that. Um, oh no, I mean, it was a pretty good week. Truck turned some pretty good revenue in, so I can't complain about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off if you guys ever have any questions or anything, I'm not BSing nothing. I'll tell you every number that it is. Um, so yeah, uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna work on doing a monthly revenue, see how the truck did for a whole month instead of week by week. I'll be dropping that in a few days. Um, also gonna be looking to make a review video about my time so far here at Baylor. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, and to keep watching my vlogs, you know, I just like to let y'all know what the day-to-day -day life is out here and how I make do with things. And like I said, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth and not hide anything what it's like out here daily. If there's anything you guys like to see, drop a comment, let me know. I'll post wherever you guys want. But other than that, keep your rubber side down. Have a good one.